Police tonight have one man in custody and are looking for another man they say is responsible for a brazen morning robbery at the CIBC First Caribbean Bank at the Mall at Marathon. They're also looking for robbers who targeted Scotiabank in Stella Maris, Long Island. We'll get to that a little later in the newscast. But first, LaDawn Davis tells us how police are using technology to catch the New Providence robbers. What was supposed to be a productive day for dozens of employees at the CIBC First Caribbean Bank turned out to be a living nightmare Thursday morning as a man armed with a handgun walked into the bank demanding the tellers to free up the cash. When ZNS News entered the foyer of the bank, we noticed that there was a sign on the door advising the public that the bank was closed. Customers who were unsure of the events that transpired earlier in the day were still trying to get their daily transactions from the ATMs. Now while police are left investigating an armed robbery at Scotia Bank in Long Island, they find themselves here at CIBC First Caribbean International. Assistant Commissioner of Police Anthony Ferguson says there are some successes, though, as two of the suspects were caught. But the manhunt is still on for their accomplices. As soon as they left the bank, alert officers arrested one of the suspects. The second suspect is still at large. We have information that we're working with, and again, it's only a matter of time before he is in custody. Um, in this incident, a substantial amount of money were recovered and we are confident that we have the right poison. A 24-hour surveillance camera system in place around the perimeter and inside the bank assisted police in nabbing the suspects in custody. Assistant Commissioner Ferguson says that's why the implementation of CCTV in the Bahamas is so crucial in the fight against crime. When you look around the world, um, CCTV is very, very important in policing countries and in particular um, business establishment. We have seen the results that um, comes from CCTV and we believe that is very, very important. This direction that we are going on, we feel very good about it and we are sure that we will get the kind of results that we expect. Just this week, police officers confiscated 13 illegal firearms off our streets, bringing the number up to 266 for the year. This is good news for the police, as one gun removed is a life saved. Now, although police say all suspects are known to them, both armed robberies are not related. LaDawn Davis, ZNS News.